Good afternoon. We're here this afternoon basically uh, to highlight one of the initiatives gov has government has taken on recently to assist the residents in areas where there are dangerous wall situations that are concerned to the general public. As you know, some time ago, dangerous walls were identified throughout the island. Government took on the challenge of addressing the ones that were on public lands, public road sites, and that nature. And then we were these the ones that fall on the private roads that are private uh, state roads and their private property. Some of those we found there was a challenge with the need to assist the residents who were concerned in those areas. And what you see here today is one of those examples of how government has now started their program. I want to first acknowledge the, the persistence, I should say, of the representative from the area, Ms. Patrice Minas, who brought it to my attention some time ago when I was early on the job as minister, and I've actually toured the area with her a few months back. And then we went back and decided on a me mechanism by which government could come up and assist residents such as we have here today. And we have behind us today Ms. Minas and the residents in the area who have been concerned about the safety issue that was here, and I believe it's, the road has been closed for uh, a few years now, um, when it was first identified that there was a challenge with the safety issue. Now, the wall will be taken down today, and then government will look at means of, of addressing the full issue of the, the uh, rebuild and safety issue as we go forward from here. But the first step is to try and get down the walls that are challenged, meaning that they can fall at any minute, and we recognize if we leave them too long, with, they may just fall. So let's get them down and then look at how we can do further addressing to the situations from there. Um, I would like to ask Ms. Minas and the residents there to give some comment that they wish. Okay. Thank you, Minister. Um, as the Minister had indicated, uh, this, w this road has been closed, Lowell Hill Pass, for a few years as a result of um, a deteriorating wall and which was exacerbated by Hurricane Fabian. Um, while on the canvassing trail, this was a common complaint um, from residents um, regarding the closure of the road and the excessive traffic that has now been diverted to the upper road, which unfortunately has also been taking some wear and tear. So this is a delightful day. Um, the residents here are truly excited. The fact that work has started, um, they will in, in due course see a new wall erected and the road will be open. And so that the, the inconvenience and the frustration that has been experienced, particularly first thing in the morning, this road is used by trucks and even people that don't live in the area, they use it as a, a cut through. And when it was just reduced to just one road, it was definitely a nuisance to the residents. So we're excited. Um, about the work that the Works in Engineering and the Minister has spearheading and um, I would like to just invite any of the, the residents to come forth and, and give their comments. I'm just so thankful that the role is getting fixed today because it has been a nuisance. It's, it's been blocked off by over three, over three years and the, everybody's been using the top road which is supposed to be a private road to the houses up there and we have so much traffic which is unbearable sometimes and we have so much people that's not nice sometimes. They just sit in the cars, they won't go back for you, and you just have to, we live there. And they sometimes just sit and they don't even go back for us. So sometimes it's really unbearable. So I'm just so thankful, happy for government for opening up, fixing this road, and hoping it will be open soon so we can just have a good neighborhood and everybody be happy with what's happening down here. I'm just thankful. My name is Ida Spencer, and I'm also very thankful, very thankful because this road has been an issue for three years or just over three years. Unfortunately, my husband has passed mm -hmm. recently, just recently, so I'm sorry that he's not here to see that it's being done. But I thank you all sincerely, mm -hmm. and I just ask that everything will go well for you in this endeavor. My name is Liz Davis, and I've lived here for quite a while, and I'm thankful too that the road has they've started not to fix the road because, you know, when they first blocked it off, they had said we had blocked it off so that the school children would not get hurt by the road. But my concern was that the kids were still using the road to go to school. So I'm really thankful that it's going to be fixed now because trying to tell the kids to go top road, you know, they figure this is shorter. Mm -hmm. So they don't see the danger where the mothers and the grandmothers will see the danger. So I'm just saying thanks again to the minister and to our constituency. Mm -hmm. um, Minister, please mind us <laughs> for coming by and, you know, just giving us assistance to get our road fixed. Thank you. Uh, yes, my name is Shirley Richardson. I'd just like to um, thank the Minister and the Works and Engineer for uh, 
taking on this endeavor and helping us in uh, constituency 10 to get these road issues worked out. We still have a number of road issues that need to be worked out. And uh, with the help of our uh, city member parliament, Ms. Patrice Miners, um, I think we are on our way to getting some real improvements done, not only on Lawyer Hill Pass, but in the whole Lawyer Hill area. So again, we just want to say thank you. Yes, good afternoon. I'm Kirby Grant. I'm a resident of Lawyer Hill too. And I would like to thank government first of all, and the AMPs, of the House of Assembly, and all Mr. Lister here and Ms. Patrice Miners for getting you ready, you know, prepared for all of us and your safety for us. And if it's all possible, I would like to just have some lighting system coming down once the rear is repaired. <laughs> and if you can, get it a one way going down and another way going up. Right. That would be safety too. All right. Thank you very much. Why not? Thank you. Minister um, Lister, there has been a lot of being circulated <laughs> by the um, UBP candidate for this area, Mr. Dunkley, in which he has said that he has been in contact with your ministry, and because of his efforts, mm -hmm. that's why the wall is being um, repaired now. Can you comment on that, sure. please? Sure. Um, I can't speak specifically to the lot. I haven't seen a lot, so I don't know what's contained in it. But I could go back to where I started the interview today, and that's with we're here today because of the persistence of the representative for the area, Mrs. Miners, who has who contacted me many months ago to say we've got some concerns in the area down here. How can government address these concerns? And through her persistence and continuing to stay on top of me as the minister to make sure that we can find a means to work with the residents in the area to address these concerns. That's the reason we're here today. Okay, thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, the time can be better. School's going to be back in like another three weeks. Mm -hmm. When would the road be finished? Okay, what, what I, I think I st started to say when we began this interview was that we have a number of roads or walls like this that we've identified throughout the island. The first step that we're doing now is that some of them are of such a concern that they could fall at any moment, just as this wall was. With heavy rain, other things, that we, you know, when hurricane season, you don't know what could bring the wall down. What we're doing right now is going around and trying to take down the walls that are really of that uh, dear concern to us that they could come at any moment. Then we're going to come back with a plan of how we redress and put them, put them uh, back in shape. But the first issue was not to leave them all up and down the island, just do one at a time to go in the hill down and up, uh, down a rebuild. But let's get down those that are of major concern so that the issue of them falling and becoming a uh, real safety concern to the residents and others who use the area, that issue is removed by taking the wall down. And then we come back in the fa second phase and start to rebuild. But the, the, the fact that there are uh, numerous walls that we're actually working with throughout the island uh, um, that have been brought to our attention by residents in the area, representatives in the area, we're working with those as a package right now. Do you know a number regarding walls then? Um, I don't want to give a number off the top of my head. I, ju I just don't want to share that right now. I, don't, you know, may, I may give you the wrong number, so it's best for me not to just pull a number off the top of my head. But there are uh, numerous walls in this condition that we are working with. And there are, as we go from here, from this week, you'll see such um, projects like this taking place throughout the island where we're pulling the walls down first. I think we've done one yesterday. We're here today. Between here, these two walls, these two properties today, next week we're at another location, another two locations, I believe, and it's rolling out like that so we can get the ones that are really concerned that they may just fall at any moment. 